just on a quick nip to Bunnings. Feeling pretty peckish. Just gonna jot into this Yugoslavian bakery down in Balkata. Probably got the best pita and burek in my opinion. I'm gonna go check that out. There's a little butcher next door that has some Yugoslavian style meat. Check out the grocery store next door that sells a whole bunch of imported Yugoslavian style. Baltic foods, Ivar, Africa, little tins of pate. All right, stay with me. Good morning. Can I get uh, one meat pita and uh, one spinach and cheese pita? It's a little bit. What do you reckon is better, cherry pita or the pumpkin pita? I'll say the cherry pita. Alright, let's go for the cherry, please. Two talumbe, please. One jam and one Nutella donut, please. Nah, that's it. Amazing. Thanks so much. Bye, There's a butcher here. There's a butcher dog. There's no butcher here. Alright? No, Robo? No. A whole bunch of Iva. I'll tell you about that. Rush paste. You know this one's always good with the paper on the top. Yeah, that's a good bar there. Of course. Yugoslavian chef, they're gonna have paprika. All the paprikas. Mild paprika. Hot paprika. Late paprika. I'm actually gonna pop that. 424. It's burning. 420. Little things of pate. That's what I want. Chicken liver. Good morning. Oh, I'm just looking for now. Thank you. Can I ask you what happened to the butcher that used to be next door? Oh, yes. Three years ago. They closed down? Yes. Oh, really? There's no butcher here. What happened? Oh, they just been Ah, that was so good though. I know. <laughs> Pie crusts. So you got like all the Serbian stuff, the Yugo stuff, Croatian stuff, and then you also got Italian stuff here as well, so it sort of services the whole community. Smokies. Do not recommend. It literally tastes like packing peanuts. Thank you. Have a great day. So right here is where the butcher used to be. That looks like a vape shop, to be honest. All right, just got back home. Just started fucking pissed down with rain. Glad we got back here. Let's go check out what we got. We got a cheese and spinach pita here. And what they do is they wrap this pastry up and then they create like a little uh, snake thing here. And so that's one portion there. That was about eight bucks 50. And then we got the same thing here. We got a meat one. That was about $9. And then we got a couple of Cherry pitas. Look at that cherry in there. Jeez. Gonna chuck these in the oven for about five minutes and then uh, get into a taste test. Stay with me. All right, I got these little crispy boys out of the oven, made a little sauce. Traditionally, this is probably what you do like in a Croatian house. Um, they make a little bit of sauce with some yogurt, some lemon juice, cracked pepper, salt. Go for the perfect bite. Got the meat guy there. A little bit low on meat. Tastes is good. Go for the cheese one. That one's probably better. Cherry. Mm. The cherry is killer. It's not too sweet. It's a little bit sour. Good flavoring of the pastry combined with the sweetness of the cherry. That's probably my favorite. I like the cheese one, but the cherry one. The cherry is such a classic Yugoslavian Croatian thing anyway. She was right. The cherry is way better. <laughs> So that's it. King style Euro Bakery in Balkata. Great Yugoslavian bread. Yeah, each one of those pitas was about nine bucks, 350 each for a long thing of the cherry one. Secret little spot, back streets of Balkata. If you're in that area, definitely go check it out. King style Euro Bakery. All right, peace. I don't know about this. You can call ahead an aura. Roll of uh, pita. Oh my days, you get burping. Buy like big pies of burek or big pies. It's lumpy. Mm -hmm.